Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video today on Euler's method. So let's start today just with a little brief introduction to what Euler's method is. Euler's method is a numerical approach to approximate the particular solution of a differential equation that passes through a particular point. So consider some following graph here. If we knew one point, this point right over here, and I use this tangent line to approximate a point. If we picked that point really close to that, we're going to get a pretty good approximation. But if I picked a point really far away from it, we're not going to get a good approximation. So that's where Euler's method comes into play. Basically, we're going to take a couple tangent lines here and kind of just keep building off and getting closer and closer and closer to that point. So it's still not going to be a perfect answer, but it's going to be a lot closer approximation than it would be if we just use one tangent line. So let's take a look at how this works. Use Euler's method to approximate the particular solution of the differential equation y prime equals xy passing through the point 0, 1 using a step of h equals 0, 0.2. Complete the table below. All right. y star is the x exact value to the solution. We actually can't get those values yet. After we do part c here, we'll be able to do that, but I just filled it in for you, and then we'll see how we got that later on. Okay, so let's start with our x column. We can actually fill out our x column completely. We know we're starting at x equals 0, so x equals 0, and then we're moving up point, why not right next there, 0, and we're moving up point 0.2, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. I know my first y value is 1 because of this point 0, 1 here. dy dx. dy dx is x times y, so 0 times 1 would be 0. So my tangent line would be y equals 0 times x minus 1 plus 1, which is y equals 1. All right, so I'm going to find my next y value. I'm going to take the next x value and put it in there, but there's nothing to put in there, so it's just 1. So this y value is also 1. My next dy dx is this times this, so 0 0.2. So my next tangent line would be y equals 0.2 times x minus 1 plus 1. Oops, sorry. x minus 0.2 plus 1. So your dy dx goes here, your x here, and then your y here. Just point slow form, just moving the y value over. Okay, so then my next my next y value then, I'm going to take this x value and put it in there for x. So obviously, we can use a calculator to help us with this. The next y value we should get back would be 1.04. So my next dy dx, x times y, again, you can use calculators for all this, is 0 0.416. So my next tangent line would be y equals 0.416 times x minus 0.4 plus 1.04. So for my next y value, I'm going to take this number and put it in there. Now we get back 1.1232. My next dy dx, I multiply these two together. 0 0.67392. And my final equation, my tangent line here would be y equals 0.67392 x minus 0.6 plus 1.1232. And I wouldn't know what my next y value would be because there's no next x value to do. If it would, obviously it would be 0.8 if we could, but Okay, so these values, again, are actually got from C, but we can compare those to these y values. They're pretty close. In fact, the first one's spot on, and then they get a little bit further away the further we go, but they are pretty close to those values, okay? All right, so question B says to approximate y of 0.8. So now for 0.8, we're going to put 0.8 into this equation right here. Again, you can obviously use your calculator for all this. So y of 0.8 would be 0 0.67392, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6, 
plus 1.1232. So y of 0.8 would be approximately 1.258. All right, part C, solve differential equation dy dx equals xy with the initial condition y of 0 equals 1. All right, so we got dy over y equals x dx. Ln y equals x squared over 2 plus c. I'm going to use the initial condition right now. So ln of 1 equals 0 plus c. 0 equals c. Okay, so ln of y equals x squared over 2 plus 0. So absolute value of y equals e to the x squared over 2. And in fact, we can drop the absolute value symbol because we know y is equal to a positive 1 here. So it's just y equals e to the x squared over 2. So now we can go back and get this last column here by taking these x values and putting them in here. That's how we get these right here. Okay, and you can see these are the actual answers. These are our estimates. Pretty close. Question D says, find the difference between the exact value and the approximate value. All right, so our approximate value and our exact value. So let's find y of 0 0.8 first by putting that into our calculator. Uh, if you put so it would be e to the 0.8 squared over 2. And that is 1.377. The value we got in B, approximate value here, is 1.258. So the difference, if we subtract those two, the difference is approximately 0 0.119, which is a pretty good estimate. We're talking about basically being one-tenth of a, of a number off. All right, number two, another Euler's method problem. Consider the differential equation dy dx is equal to x minus y with a condition y of 0 equals 1. Use Euler's method with four equal step sizes to approximate y of 2. All right, so let's start with making our table. So x... Y, I'll use red for that. Y dy dx tangent line and our next y. All right, so first of all, let's figure out our x's. Uh, we know we're starting with x equals 0. And we're going from 0 to 2 with 4 equal steps. That means uh, each step can be 1 half. So 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 2. Well, actually, we're not even going to include 2 because we're just doing 4, four of these, and 2 will be our approximation at the end. So we got all our steps in there. Let's create our table. Let's finish off our table here. All right, so our first y we know is 1. For dy dx, we're going to do x minus y. So x minus y is negative 1. So our tangent line here would be y equals negative 1 x minus 0 plus 1. Which you could rewrite that if you just want to negative x plus 1. You don't have to simplify, though, if you don't want to. So for our next y, we're going to put 0.5 into there. Negative 0.5 plus 1 is just 1 half. So our next y is 1 half. So dy dx, x minus y, 1 half minus 1 half, that's 0. So it's y equals 0 times x minus 1 half plus 1 half. 
So it's just y equals one half. So if you put one in there, well, we get back one half again. So one half. X minus y would be one half. So it's y equals one half times x minus one plus one half. I'm not gonna bother simplifying that. Let's just put our next x value in there. So you put three halves in there. Remember, you can use a calculator to help you with this. Put three halves in there. We should get back three fourths. So then x minus y, three halves minus three fourths. Three halves minus three fourths, that'd be six fourths minus three fourths, which is three fourths. So we get y equals three fourths, x minus three halves plus three fourths. So then finally, to approximate two, we're gonna put two into that line right there. So y of two, be approximately, and you just go ahead and put that in there, you figure that out with your calculator, you should get nine eighths as our approximate answer. All right, last one here, Euler's Euler's method the table. So we got this beautiful table that was given to us, let y equal f prime, be the solution to the differential equation dy dx equals f prime with the initial condition f of one equals three. Selected values of f prime are given in the table. What is the approximation for f of 1.6 if Euler's method is used starting at one with three steps of equal size? All right, so let's go ahead and make our table again. x, y, dy dx, tangent line, and our next y. All right, so x, y, dy dx, tangent line, and our next y. Okay, so we know in our x, we're gonna start at one. And we're gonna be going to 1.6 with three steps of equal size. So it's 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6. All right, so now our first y was given to us. We know our first y is three. So we'll put that right there. Uh, dy dx is actually given to us here. This table gives us f prime. All right, so at one, f prime is two. So our tangent line would be y equals two times x minus one plus three. If we put 1.2 into that, we should get back 3.4. So that's our next y. At 1.2, our derivative is 2.3. So our next tangent line would be y equals 2.3 x minus 1.2 plus 3.4. If we put 1.4 in there, we should get back 3.86. That's our next y. The derivative at that point, 1.4, would be 2.5. So our next tangent line is 2.5 x minus 1.4 plus 3.86. If we put 1.6 in there, we should get back 4.36. So that's our next y, and that actually is our answer. So our final answer here for f of 1.6 is approximately 4.36. All right, that'll do it for our lesson today on Euler's method. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. We'll see you again next time.